I have a Google Pixel 5a here. I'm going to show you how to transfer or copy photos and videos directly from your 5a to your Apple computer or MacBook or iMac using the charging cable and not using iTunes. Now, the first thing I want to mention is, you know, the easiest way for me to transfer um, my files from my, uh, my Pixel to a MacBook without using iTunes, the easiest way for me, in my opinion, is you have to download this little Android uh, file transfer first. You just download it once and it's always there. I've been using this for like five years. Once you download and install this, you just basically plug the phone in and you can drag and drop uh, your photos and videos as if pretty much if you, like you're on a Windows computer. So here's the uh, link here. I'll put the link in the description below, but it's a free Android file transfer. Just download it once, install it, and once you do, it's going to show up a little an as a little Android guide down here. Okay. So once you have that installed, and then um, now every time you plug in your phone, but uh, first thing is, you know, the Pixel 5a it comes with a USB A or USB C to a USB C. The thing is, on this MacBook, I don't have a USB C or a Thunderbolt 3 port. And I don't have one of those adapters, okay? So my only option is to use the uh, standard USB-A to a USB-C, okay? So the USB-A, I'm going to plug that into my, my MacBook here. And then my Pixel, it's going to go ahead and plug this in right now like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. Don't worry about what's happening to the screen. Let me log in first. So I'll log in. Now, this shit here should pop up, okay? If this doesn't pop up, what you want to do is just slide down notifications. And then the very bottom here, it says uh, Android system charging this device via USB. Tap on that little down arrow. And then tap on tap for more options right there. And now what you want to do is check file transfer on top, okay? So as soon as I do that, file transfer... Now this should open up automatically, okay? Now if this doesn't open up, just go back down to that little um, Android guy and open up, open that up. And there you go, okay? So from here, all your photos and videos are saved into your DCIM folder. So let me double click on DCIM and double click on camera. And I only have a few photos. You can see my JPEG photos there and I have two MP4s, which are video files. So from here, is pretty much like a Windows computer. Now I can, I mean, if I, you want to, you can drag and drop it right onto the desktop. Bam. What I typically do is I'll just make a new folder up here. I'll call it 5A. Oh, you know what? I'll just leave it untitled folder. And I'll just copy the whole shebang. I'll drag and drop it to this folder I just made on the desktop. Let it transfer. It looks like it's done. Let me go ahead and unplug my phone. And now you can see my folder here that I called um, Untitled Folder, if I double click on that, you can now see the photos and videos are in there on the hard drive of my MacBook. So pretty simple. Any uh, questions or issues, just comment below. All right. Good luck, guys. Bye.